normal platelet count it is in the range of 150000 to 4 lakh cells per cubic millimeter when there is increment it is known as thrombocytosis while there is decrease that is thrombocytopenia thrombocytosis that is platelet count when goes more than 4 lakhs per cubic millimeter that is thrombocytosis the basic or common causes are hemorrhage surgery trauma sparing tommy etc when thrombocytopenia the platelet count was less than 1.50 lakhs cells per cubic millimeter it is either primary or secondary thrombocytopenia primary is a mainly idiopathic secondary thrombocytopenia is mainly due to concern with some pathology like due to drugs like aspirin in bone marrow malignancies in hyperspherism etc when it is formation of thrombocytes or platelets these are formed by megakaryoblast the this is a sequential presentation of the formation of thrombocytes that megakaryoblast pro megakaryocyte megakaryocytes and a detachment of fragments in blood stream to form platelets when it is hemostasis it is nothing but a stoppage of bleeding when blood vessel is injured is hemostasis the mechanism involved in hemostasis is first constriction of injured blood vessel formation of hemostatic blood clot retention and resolution of clot these are the four mechanisms involved in this process of hemostasis when you go and see detail regarding this process that is hemostasis first there is a constriction of injured blood vessel due to contraction of smooth muscle initially due to direct injury then due to release of 5-HT from activated platelets this makes the blood flow slow and prevent washing out of clots secondly the formation of hemostatic plug it fills the gap of platelet plug by the adhesion to the collagen due to circulating own wilbrand factor and then aggregation of platelets this is a schematic presentation showing different phases what we already discussed in first there is an adhesion of platelets to collagen second aggregation of platelets to form platelet plug and third showing fibrin threads making firm clot and in fourth clot retraction due to contraction of platelets when it is process of platelet plug formation it goes in sequences adhesion to collagen with own wilbrand factors in plasma which causes activation and release of calcium from dense tubular system which successfully follow by contraction of platelets develop pseudophonia discharge granules produce integrin for aggregation release of adp which activate thromboxane a2 which causes certain binding with surface protein on platelets and also to the fibrin this is the schematic presentation of the formation of platelet plug third is the clot retraction the contraction of platelets pull fibrin threads to make hole smaller which makes the healing easier next is fibrinolysis that is the dissolution of clot after some days for normal blood flow by plasmin that is fibrinolysis in fibrinolysis the plasminogen is converted to plasmin when it is blood coagulation process is formed in a sequences that is first formation of blood clot coagulation factors basic steps in the formation of blood clot initiation of coagulation extrinsic pathway intrinsic pathway anti hemostatic mechanisms fibrinolysis role of vitamin k and liver hemorrhage disorder test for bleeding disorders thrombotic effect or thrombotic disorders and dic these are the 13 steps that will be discussed in our next presentation